Some girls like makeup. Some girls like handbags. Some girls like shoes. But your girl here, your girl here, I love Benz. <music> Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys some amazing high-end luxury bins. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first bin on my list is this gorgeous beauty of a beast. And she is the Marie Kondo Soji Bamboo Bin. Here she is, take a look at her. Mm, beautiful, I'm gonna put her down. I think it's perfect for a linen closet because it just showcases so well. And I love the structure of it and I feel like you can literally add anything to it. Of course, if it'll be sitting in a linen closet, I would probably add linens or bedding in it or also toilet paper or even towels because it is see-through. So one of the things that you may want to, I guess, look or be aware of is adding items in it that doesn't necessarily look aesthetically pleasing. I'm all about creating an aesthetically pleasing space. So when I find a high-end bin and a decorative bin, I'm definitely gonna add it to my collection. She doesn't smell like anything. I don't know why I smelled it, but yeah. Ah, I just love her. Mm. Ah. So the next bin on my list is the perforated Akasha basket. She is the queen of everything. My favorite part of this bin is the fact that it has wood and it also has metal. And to me, when you combine both the correct way, you get a beautiful high-end bin. This bin is from the company Neat Method and they just create such beautiful bins, which is why I will continuously purchase from their lines. I will definitely use her in a pantry because the metal kind of just makes it a bit more multifunctional and durable. One of the things that I love the most about this bin is the fact that the bottom is velvet, which, ah, details, details, details. I love details. And I think the reason why they added the velvet is so that whenever you do pull or push the bin, you don't scratch the shelves. And I see that happen all the time. And the fact that they added this velvet is mm, chef kisses. I don't think that statement is for stuff like this, but you get what I mean. <laughs> so the next beautiful high-end bin is the Sedona Low Profile Bin. Oh, she's so pretty. I don't know why I did that dance. <laughs> yes, give me body. So this is her. She's a little bit curved which I do fancy sometimes. I'm usually someone who loves a very structured rectangle, but there's something about her soft body that just made me get her. The craftsmanship is unheard of, bar none. You can place magazines in here or paperwork or documents. You can also put her underneath the bed because of the low profile. And she's also great for a nightstand. I think she's just a nice size bin, let me put her down, that you can place in areas that of course you want to showcase a bin. And because of her shape, because of her softness, I feel like this is a great bin for the bedroom. Whether she's sitting inside something or sitting out, of course I would sit her out because she's too beautiful to be hiding. And yeah, that's definitely how I would use her. My goal is to feature her in some makeover videos, so definitely check those out when they do drop. Another bin that looks just like the Sedona bin is this one. Here she is. Looks like you just saw her, right? You didn't. So this is the rattan bin with handles in the copper color. And this is literally almost a dupe. If you're someone who's looking for the Sedona bin right here and you can't either find it or you don't want to play or you don't want to pay an extra five dollars to get it, you might as well go this route. They're always in stock at the container store and it's a great equal. The only thing that's different, as you can see, is there is no curve. The craftsmanship is not the same as the Sedona bin. I'm gonna be very honest, but I feel like it's gonna give you the same look if you're looking for something like the Sedona bin. Her walls are higher, so you can add more things to it. And I think I still think she's really beautiful to sit out. My favorite thing about this bin, honestly, is because of the deep copper color, I feel like it goes so well with this season's colors. And if she sat like on a bookcase or on a table, I feel like it will kind of like bring or enhance the fall or autumn vibe. And yeah, I think I think she's a beaut as well. Okay. So the next bin on my list is the Oxford bin. And the reason why she is here is because she's a cloth bin and she's probably the best cloth bin that I've seen 
thus far for the price especially so this is what she looks like oh man Ugh. beautifully crafted this is another bin by neat method and honestly i'm someone who never recommends cloth bins well let me not say never i usually recommend them to be used in a kid's room a kid's closet a playroom but never in an adult space there's just something about the cloth bins that i've seen in the past that just didn't give me what i needed until i met her there's a metal frame in here so even if you put the most structured or the pointiest thing in here it's not going to lose its shape that's my issue with cloth bins it always loses its shape but not this one it's a bin that you can literally use anywhere <laughs> why was i so dramatic with that you can basically use it in spaces where there's no liquid around because it is a cloth bin it's a match made in heaven because before i wasn't a believer but today i'm a believer the last bin on my list is last for a reason and she is probably my favorite bin thus far <sighs> i'm giving her an introduction because she deserves it she does she's a beautiful bin oh mm. here she is this beautiful specimen of a bin she is fully acacia wood so she is heavy and she's lined and she has velvet what more do you want from a bin this bin goes for 52 dollars, and she's worth it i have four of these yes i spent over 200 dollars on four bins i know i know but bins are like shoes to me so it makes sense right this is one of my favorite bins because outside of it being functional, she's just that girl. I'm gonna be using her in my office. I'm still trying to design how I want her to fit in my office, but she's going to be used in my office because she's too beautiful not to be used. Let me put her down because she is heavy. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like this bin is great to use in any space in the home that doesn't necessarily get dirty or have liquids because of the wood and the cloth inside especially if you want to keep it for a long time there's no point in using her in spaces like that like under the sink or in the bathroom so i would definitely use her in a closet in the office of course in the bedroom just somewhere where she stands out this is one of those bins that you put in a space that you really value let me say that let me get off her because I can talk about her all day. Please keep in mind, these are just bins that I love. And even though I'm saying they're high end and luxury, yes, they're on the higher side when it comes to organizing products, but there's some in there that are pretty affordable. At the end of the day, it's all about creating a space that works for you, that makes you happy, that you love being in. And whether you spend a dollar on bins or $55 on bins, as long as you are loving your space and you're enjoying your space, that's what matters. So yeah, I wanted to make sure I said that. All right, you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.